Welcome to day 12 of 21 days of yoga. I'm Elisa and I'm very glad to see you on your mat today. Today we'll be working on the upper body and our focus is change. Often when change hits our lives we freak out, be it expected or not. We then may start questioning everything, which impact that's going to have in our lives, how are we going to manage to keep going, what the future will look like because of it. Why is this happening to us? There are many different factors that can make this situation go one way or another. But in the end, especially when unexpected changes come to our lives, we have two options. We can be the victim and question why me, seeing only negatives, or try to see which positives this change could potentially bring. And I'm not saying that change is always easy, but our attitude towards it will have a massive impact on it. While it's an easier option to resist change than to embrace it, through change comes extraordinary growth embrace change because change is good we can't go back and change the beginning but we can definitely create what's coming next so let's get started on a wide knees child pose so allow your arms to go forwards and allow your head to melt towards the ground Here, simply begin to gain awareness about how your body feels today. Noticing your breath, feeling each inhale and exhale coming in and out through your nose. Every time that you breathe in today, breathe in strength. And every time that you breathe out, breathe out weakness, whatever that means to you. Let's take a full breath in and empty everything. On your next inhale, bring your arms forwards, press with your palms down and make your way to a down dog. Let's take a big breath in and empty little steps to the front of your mat. Hands to your shin, flat back, inhale, fall forwards as you breathe out, belly brushing your thighs. Your head is heavy. And we'll begin to roll ourselves up. Reach up with your arms. Inhale. Fall forwards from your hips as you empty. Hands to your shin. Flat back. Inhale. Hands to the floor. High plank. Exhale. Hands under your shoulders and push the floor away, creating space in between your shoulder blades. Three more breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Inhale. 
keep creating a space in between the shoulder blades. Exhale, activate the core. Breathe in and out. Shoulders forwards, knees to the ground. Inhale. Lower to the ground, breathing out. Press with the top of your feet towards the ground. Low cobra, inhale, broaden the collarbones. Down dog, exhale, four breaths. Find your length in the spine. One last breath in and then your breath out, little steps to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale, relax your head and roll yourself up to standing. Arms to the sky, breathe in, fall forwards from your hips, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale, broaden the collarbones. Step back, high plank, knees to the ground and exhaling down. Low cobra or up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, breathe. One last breath in and empty, little steps to the front, halfway lift, inhale, shoulders back, forward fold, exhale, relax your head, leave your head heavy and roll yourself up arms to the sky, breathe in, hands to your heart, breathe out. Your feet are hips distance apart or big toes touching with a slightly separation in between your heels. Reach up, inhale, sing your hips low, exhale, chair pose. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out, hug the shins to the middle, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, strong core, breathe in and out, last one in, Fall forwards, empty the breath. Halfway lift, shoulders back, inhale. Hands to the floor, step back to high plank, exhale. Shoulders forwards, knees to the ground, breath in. And lower all the way down, breathing out. Press with the top of your feet to the ground and peel the chest off the ground, breathing in for low cobra or up dog. Down dog, 
breathe out sit bones to the sky right leg up inhale step in between your hands exhale the back foot is going to step out a little so that the feet are hips distance apart it's going to be flat on the floor at 45 degrees angle our hips are going to be parallel to the front and we're going to reach up for warrior one inhale Soften in between your shoulders, breathe out. Breathe in, find the length in the spine. Exhale, tuck the ribs in. Inhale, right hip pulls back. Exhale, left hip pushes forwards. Breathe in and out inhale open to the left exhale warrior two breathe in heels in line with each other breathe out front knee on top of ankle inhale find the length in the spine exhale tuck the ribs in Inhale, look at the front hand. Exhale, melt in between your shoulder blades. Breathe in and out. Reverse the warrior, inhale. Cartwheel your arms to the front and step back to down dog. Exhale. Left leg to the sky breathe in step in between your hands breathe out our back foot is going to step out a little so that the feet are hips distance apart it's going to be flat on the floor at 45 degrees angle our hips are going to be parallel to the front and we reach up for warrior one inhale soften in between your shoulders breathing out breathe in find the length in the spine empty the breath tuck the ribs in inhale left hip pulls back exhale right hip pushes forwards Breathe in and out. Inhale, open to the right, exhale, warrior two. Breathe in, heels in line with each other. Breathe out, front knee on top of the ankle. Inhale, find the length in the spine exhale tuck the ribs in breathe in look at the front hand exhale melt in between your shoulder blades inhale exhale reverse your warrior breathe in cartwheel your arms to the front and step back to down dog breathing out last round flowing the breath is in charge the movement follows little steps to the front halfway lift inhale forward fold exhale roll yourself up arms up Breathe in, chair pose, breathe out. Big breath in, fall forwards, empty the breath. Halfway lift, inhale. Step back, high plank, exhale. 
Shoulders forwards, knees to the ground. Breath in. Lower down, breath out. Low cobra or up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg to the sky, breathe in. Step to the front, breathe out. Back foot flat, warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, open to the left, exhale. Reverse the warrior, breathe in. Cut with the arms to the floor, empty the breath. Step back to down dog. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Step to the front, exhale. Back foot flat, warrior one, breathe in. Warrior two, open to the right, breathe out. Reverse the warrior, inhale. Cut with the arms to the front, empty. Step back to down dog and breathe. Bring your shoulders forwards to a high plank. We're going to really activate the core and push the floor away. Bring your legs together like if you just had one leg. And on your next inhale, right arm to the sky, heels fall to the left side plank. We're going to do some curls here. Inhale, keeping the arm high. As you exhale, bring the top arm curling under you towards the back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, curl under. Stay strong. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, curl under strong core. Reach up, inhale. Curl under, exhale. Reach up, breath in. Come back to high plank, breath out. You can stay here for two breaths or go to down dog for two breaths. In through the nose and out. In, out. Now we'll do the other side. If you're in down dog, make your way to high plank. Push the floor away, keep your legs together like if you just had one leg. On your next inhale, left arm up, heels fall to the right and keep the core strong, keep breathing. Breathe in here, curl under with the top arm, breathing out. Reach up, inhale. Curl under, exhale, strong core. Up, breathe in. Down, breathe out. Reach up, inhale. Curl under, exhale, strong core. Reach up, inhale. Curl under, exhale. Last one, breathe in and up. Come to high plank as you breathe out. Make your way to a down dog. And breathe. Take one last inhale here. As you exhale, come forwards to high plank. Knees to the ground, shoulders forwards, breath in and lower all the way down, breathing out. 
we're going to prepare to do locust rises. So facing down, we're going to press with the top of our feet towards the ground. We'll bring the arms by the side of our body, pressing with the palms towards the ground and the thumbs pointing out. Bring the belly button to the spine. And as you inhale, peel the chest off the ground. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, chest off the ground, perhaps your feet too. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, up, perhaps your hands and arms can come off. Exhale, down. Breathe in and up, maybe everything is up. Breathe out and down. Inhale, come up, expand your chest. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, full expression. Exhale, lower down. One hand on top of each other, forehead on top of your hands. And we'll take only a couple of breaths here. Five more so your choice of which variation you would like to do you can keep your palms pressing to the ground you can keep your feet pressing down all the time or you can leave your chest your arms or you can leave your chest your arms and your feet too on your next inhale peel the chest off expand your chest Exhale, lower down. Inhale, peel the chest off. Feel the length behind your neck too. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, keep pressing with the belly button to the spine. Exhale, and down. Inhale, up. Keep finding the length in the spine too. Exhale, down. Inhale, up, open the chest. Exhale, lower down. One hand on top of each other, forehead on top of your hands. And you can rock your hips sideways a little to release any tension from your lower back. Now we're going to do a half bow variation. So we'll come on our forearms. We're going to bend the right knee and grab the ankle with the right palm facing out and the thumb pointing up. You can press with the back foot towards the back of the room, feeling the chest opening, feeling the stretch perhaps on your shoulders. And keep expanding the chest. Take a full Big breath in and exhale lower down to your forearms. We'll do the other side straight away. Bend your left knee and grab your left ankle with the left palm facing out and the thumb pointing up. 
and you can pull with your back foot to the back of the room to feel that chest opening keep expanding the chest forwards and keep bringing the belly button to the lumbar full big breath in and breathe out making your way down to the ground bring your hands under your shoulders and push yourself through your fours coming to a down dog here we'll take a big breath in and little steps to the front of your mat emptying the breath how we lift flat back inhale and as we exhale we'll make our way to the mat sitting down getting ready for a boat pose Hold behind your knees and bring your feet up. We're going to expand the chest forwards, keeping the spine long. You can simply stay here or bring your arms forwards with your palms facing up slightly, externally rotating the shoulders. Or you can lower down with me. We're going to do a few high to low boats. So we're going to inhale as we lower down. Shoulders and feet don't touch the floor. Exhaling, come back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Keep broadening the collarbones. Inhale, lower down. Belly button to the spine. Exhale, come back up. Inhale, lower, strong core. Exhale, up. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, open your chest. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, up. Last one, in, lower. Up, empty the breath and from here very slowly we're going to go to the ground feeling one vertebra at a time you can place the soles of your feet on the ground we're going to do a low bridge or a wheel so remember for the low bridge bend your knees Keep your heels under your knees and your fingers brushing your heels. From there, peel your back off the ground and keep your spine long from your shoulders to your knees. Or wheel pose, bring your fingers behind your shoulders and try to keep your elbows and hands to shoulders distance apart. Begin to peel the back off the ground, expanding your chest. And you can stay here or push the floor away, bringing the top of your head towards the ground. Then from there, keep pushing high to the sky for a full wheel version. Your feet are pointing forwards and the belly button goes to the spine to protect it. Keep expanding your chest two breaths stay strong you got this and whenever you are ready begin to lower down to the ground you can place the top of your head first and then your shoulders chin to your chest and gently making your way to resting pose allowing your legs to be 
straight out with the feet perhaps falling out spread your arms sideways creating space between your body and your arms palms facing up and feel this wave coming from the top of your head touching your whole body softly releasing any tensions wherever it goes through allow yourself to sink towards the ground relax absolutely everything There is a quote from Rumi that says Try not to resist the changes that come your way. Instead, let life live through you. And do not worry that your life is turning upside down. How do you know that the side you are used to is better than the one to come? Allow yourself to enjoy this moment. Relax.
if you like the video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. It's free. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye.